Hey everybody, I'm here to bring you Hugh Darvish's pitch grips. Actually, more precisely, he's here to bring you his pitch grips in great detail and all like 500 pitches he throws. Um, you're not going to want to miss this. But before we get to that video, if you can do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, you are not going to want to miss out on the content that I'm going to bring you this season. So hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, here is you Darvish describing his pitch grips. So let's go through some pitch grips because I have a feeling this is going to take a long time because you throw every pitch in the book. Uh, let's start with, let's start easy. How about your uh, fastball grip? A normal, right? And what are you trying to do there? Like, what do you, are you trying to get a high spin rate? Do you even think about it? Uh, don't think too much. I'm not really conscious too much about it, but instead of showing sort of the wrist side to the hitter, I show more of, so try to show more of the outside part as like I throw. But just an image mm -hmm. in my head. Gotcha. I have, I've never heard that before. That's, <laughs> that's interesting. That made my fastball spin rate, uh, spin efficiency got better last year because of that maybe. Interesting. Um, how about your your two seamer, which was na oh your two seamer was nasty last year too. <laughs> so almost a one seam, right? I mean, you're you're a little bit off off offset. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like this. And what are you trying to do with that? Same same deal as the four seamer. No shooto action or anything like that. <laughs> But you are sort of pushing through with the index finger a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, you, I will let you name your pitches because you have so many that uh, let's go up. Everybody wants to see the Supreme because that is something that uh, is unique. Almost same as uh, sinker. A two seamer, but it's a little bit different. Why did you add that? <laughs> I had some time. <laughs> I had some time on hand. Because you know, because of uh, what happened, like the COVID, all the COVID, and we had to stay back home. I had some time, so I was able to work on some, uh, some, some of my pitches. How many pitches do you throw right now? How many pitch types? Fastball, sinker, point cutter, cutter, cutter slider, spike slider, curve, short cutter, knuckle curveball, and splitter, change it. Eleven. <laughs> Does a spike slider count as a different pitch, or is that a uh, okay? Yeah. Um, well, you pay. You can pick which pitch you're going to go to next. I will follow your lead, and I'll ask questions along the way. Which uh, want to do splitter? And so this pitch confuses me um, because I think sometimes you get gyro spin on it, and it looks like a slider. And we're all I'm sitting there going, "That was a slider, and it's a splitter," and it happens a lot. Um, John Smoltz did the same thing during a broadcast last year. Another 0-2. A strikeout. That's 10. There's the hard slider. That is just absolutely filthy. And that might even have been another split that has the funky spin. Do you intentionally do that, or is it just sometimes comes off your finger differently? So the way I pitch or he pitches, there's a natural cut to it. So that happens naturally and it happens for the splitter as well. So it's naturally, naturally just cutting. And does it always move the same way or sometimes it moves arm, sometimes it moves arm side too, always the same, always? 
カット、本当真横にカットしてますし、縦に落ちたりこっちに落ちたり、もうバラバラ。It's a、uh, it varies a lot, so it'll go, it'll drop and it'll cut and it'll go, you know, on, on the other side like a two seamer too, so、uh, it, it varies a lot. Yeah, I. I'm going to need you to, to, to tell me when that pitch happens because I can never tell. I mean, <laughs> and I, now I see why, because it could move like a normal splitter. It could move、um, a whole bunch of different ways. Do you intend, can, can you do that on purpose or is that、um, it just happens? I can do it on purpose. 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 I could do that if I wanted to, but. When you're in a game, you really want to just rip it, like really want to let it go, put some force on it. So you're not really conscious, conscious about that, about really controlling it during a game. Because I was thinking you could make that into four more pitches and say you throw like 15 pitches. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cheating, though, I guess. <laughs>、um, let's go with. Your knuckle curve, are you still throwing the,、uh, the Shane Bieber knuckle curve? Have you changed it?、Uh, it's normal. My knuckle curve ball is this one. I'm not throwing、uh, Shane Bieber's knuckle curve ball anymore. Gotcha. Yeah, like that. And do you, do you try to get to the front of the ball? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. まあ、でもあのリリースのところから、うん、体全体で力を入れて投げるっていうのが。うん、so, what he's conscious about is when you're releasing the ball,、um, just really trying to put as much energy onto the ball as possible, if that makes sense.、Uh, so, are you trying? I get that. Like, you're trying to throw it hard and, get, and let your, the speed make the ball spin.、Um, Can you change directions with that? Can you, can you make it go down and make it go and shape it? Yeah.、Um, let's see slider because that's one of my favorites too. This is my normal slider. Uh huh. Like this. Then spike slider is this. So, what's the why did you add the spike slider versus the normal slider? Yeah, that's why I said, 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 カーブのやつ送ってもらってあんまり自分の中でしっくりこなかったからもうちょっとナックルカーブじゃなくてナックルスライダー投げてみようと思ってホワイト特選の試合中に投げたらすごい空振りしだしたからそこから使う。Mm-hmm. So it comes from I got this from I got the hint actually from Shane Bieber's curveball.、Um, you know I was I was trying to throw the Shane Bieber cur-、uh, spike curveball but it wasn't really like、um, Resonating in, in, into me as much as I wanted to. So, and I thought that maybe I can use this, go use this as on my slider. And then、um, as I was throwing the, that pitch in a game, again, it was against the White Sox, you know, the hitter was, hitters were starting to swing and miss on that. So that's when I said, yes, I can go ahead and use this pitch. I remember that game. You were getting, I mean, that was, I, that's what I told people is that you took. The Shane Bieber grip, but created a slider out of it instead of a real knuckle curve.、Um, pick a pitch. Let's go with、uh, how about your, your slow curveball? Same as curveball. How, how do you change it then? How do you slow it up? How do you make it go? So, curve. Well, 最後までこれ持ってくるんですけど、ナックルカーブに関しては、あじゃあのスローカーブに関しては、もっと後ろでここでも話してる感じ。Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's a difference between the regular curveball and、um, the e f i s curveball would be that、uh, regular curveball, you're trying to release it sort of in front versus the e f i s you're trying to, you have the image of releasing it.、Um, On the back side. From here. Yeah. To up the way. Gotcha. That makes sense. So it's the, same, it's, it's the same grip. You're just changing the release point on the grip. How slow can you throw it?、Mm, 50, 55. Wow. 
So I remember a video of you playing catch with Clayton Kershaw, uh, throwing curve, I guess, trying to make it spin as much as you could. And he was doing the same thing. Is that what you were doing? Was he trying to show you how he throws his curveball? Oh, it's not our story. Do you remember when this was? I mean, um, I don't. it was in the outfield in a game um, and you were standing like 10 feet away from him or something. あ、それはカーショーとリッチヒルがカーブの練習を2人でいつもしてたんですけどあのキッチ会距離からなんかカーブをしっかり投げるのが大事だって言ってたのて僕は多分トライしてた。So mm. mm. Rich Hill and Clayton Kershaw would practice their curveball from that distance like the shorter distance and um I they find that very important I guess. So I kind of jumped on that along with that and um, tried that as well with them. Did that help? Well, at that point in time, I don't think I was able to control the ball as much as I can right now. Like right now, I'm more able to manipulate the ball I guess better uh, compared to that time. Do, do you think you keep getting better? Is that? Yeah. Um, just better feel for your pitches, knowing how everything's going to move. で、今はこの数ヶ月で自分がこの全部持ってる球を大体他の人にこう説明をして、で、他の人もあ、投げられるっていう状態までこう自分の中でこう言葉にしてできるようになってきた。you know, right now, like the past few month, months, I think I understand uh, how I'm able to do what I'm able to do more than ever. And another point is that I'm able to verbalize it. Like I can, I can explain it to someone and let them, un and let them make, make them understand uh, what I'm trying to do and you know, how to spin a ball. Um, so I think that's where I am with, with uh, my off speed or my, my, um, my pitches. Gotcha. Have, have you always been really good at spinning the ball, even when you were little? Mm, uh, since 14? Yes. Gotcha. And it's just, it's just come, some people I think it comes natural to, and other people, mm -hmm. not so much. How about your cutter? Uh, which one? A hard one? <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot. I have to be more specific because you have so many pitches. I'm sorry. Hard one is the same as fastball four seam. So how, what do you do? Release it off a different finger? Mm. So try not to extend, fully extend the middle finger. Like, think of it, try, th when I throw it, I think of it as uh, someone that I can't fully extend, extend the middle finger. That makes it, so it's a pressure, different pressure on your fingers by not extending. Mm. Mm. Not, not so much uh, like putting pressure on it. That's not what I'm thinking. It's just, uh, the image that I have when I throw that is, um, you know, I'm, I'm someone that I can't really fully extend my, um, my middle finger. Okay. So it, you're, it, it creates spin on a little bit of spin on the ball. Put it that way. Yep. How did you figure that out? Eh? Mm. It's just that's something I kept up. I mean, like I said earlier, I've been thinking about this and trying all these stuff since uh, since the age of 14. So, you know, it, it kind of happens that you practice it, you think about it, and you practice, put it into practice, and just going through that. Is there a lot of, do you uh, visualize what you're trying to do? Do you, th you think about it without even throwing the ball sometimes and think about what your pitch, what you want the pitch to do? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Um, all right, hard cutter now. That one was- Oh, hard sorry, cut. that was the hard cutter. You're right, you're right. Um, that one, like a yeah. slide. Yeah, 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 I got it. It's like this. 
And what do you do differently on that? Uh, this is the first time I saw the first time I saw the first time I saw the Okay, so the image that I have when I throw this is like the scene, it's like holding on to a cliff. Like you're almost trying, using those two fingers, you're holding on to a cliff and not trying to let go. I've never heard it described that way. That's that's interesting. <laughs> so you can change the speed in this thumb. When I put here, it's gonna be 90, 91. When I put here, like 82 to 85, and then 87, 88. Then when you move this way, the ball moves more that way. When I top of the ball, ball goes that way. So you can change the speed and like whatever you want, whatever I want. Just by moving the thumb a little bit, it's almost like you you it's like a a, a gas pedal or something. Your thumb is is the gas pedal. Yeah. So I know on your slider, I noticed your thumb was a little bit up too. It's not directly under it, right? You're off to the side. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple of pictures. I, uh, Dan Straley had mentioned that he moves his thumb way up too. I, I find that that's that's interesting. Mm -hmm. ここに置くよりかは横に置いた方が手首って回りやすいんですね。だから曲がり玉の時はなるべく横に曲げる時はここに置いた方が僕は人間の体だといいと思う。So mm. there's there's actually reason that I put the the thumb on the side because when you put the thumb the thumb on the side, it gives you more freedom on your wrist. So if you're trying to have the ball move sideways, it's better to have that wrist movement, that wrist freedom. So that's the reason why I put my thumb on the side. Very interesting. What do you think your best pitch is? Cutter? Cutter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me leave um, a, a cutter that anyone can do as a present. Can you hold your hand up like that? And then uh, try to Try to bring down uh, uh, without the ball, without the ball, Rob. So hands up, a little bit up, yeah. And then try to uh, the ring finger and the pinky, try to hold that down. Down like and that. Okay, you don't want to do it. And then try to do it again. Hold the hold the pinky and and the like, in the yeah. yeah. So what's happening to your middle finger? Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. That's a it's 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 naturally yep I got you. Yeah, so that's what I would tell someone, you know, not necessarily a baseball player, but you know, someone uh, that doesn't even play baseball. I would teach them this so that they would be able to throw a cutter. That is, I've never. I've always taught about like getting on a little bit on the side of the ball, not not right down the middle. I've never thought about that. Um, all right, next pitch. I don't know where I am with your pitches. So change up. Let's do change up. So pretty, still off center a little bit. You're got a little bit of yep. And are you pronating through it? そのプロネーティングをみんな知ろうって言うんですけど、僕はトップからプロネーとしながら投げに行くと投げられないので、僕のイメージとしてはもうトップからでもリリースの時に来た時にはあれトップからもうこの形を作っとく感じ。あのプ
Two seam, two seam. We did cutter. Oh yeah, we did. Cutter. We did two cutters. Right. Um, splitter. splitter. We did two splitters, right? Yeah. The, yeah. So then curveball we did. Yep. We may have. Did we really get them all? We might have. have. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do that. That's awesome. <laughs>